Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of TLC Trash Fire. I am, of course, your host, Cody. And as promised, the 90-day season 10 tell-all is upon us. So that's exactly what we're going to be reacting to today. And there is just so much to cover. There is a good old-fashioned Gino and Jasmine meltdown that happens kind of later on in the tell-all. Citra is pregnant with Sam's child, and there's just a lot to cover, to be honest with you guys. So what I'm going to do is we have all week to churn out some videos regarding the different explosive tell-all segments, and I will say this, and comment below, let me know if you agree or not, but I personally found this tell-all to be very entertaining. It was a fun watch, kind of reminded me a bit, a bit, we're not there yet. But it reminded me a bit of kind of older 90-day seasons. It just seemed pretty genuine, pretty fun, very dramatic, some funny parts. So overall, I did enjoy this tell-all. I enjoyed this tell-all, part one, of course, a lot more than the other way. So anyway, what I wanted to get into today is I can't really decide on what to cover first. I don't know exactly what you guys want to see me cover first. But I decided we're just going to go in order, pretty much. So one of the first couples they kind of picked on or talked to about their relationship was Rob and Sophie. And I've been on a roll lately putting out Rob hater videos. Just kidding, but not really. I'm not a big fan of the guy. But they went into some great detail about their relationship. And they also delved into Rob and Sophie's mother's relationship which of course is completely on the rocks it was also verified that they have moved to austin rumor has it that that is where they allegedly right allegedly broke up and people have seen them alone but never together and also i wanted to mention that igor is a complete scumbag after this entire season seeing igor's antics getting to know his personality I just find him to be a misogynistic pig, and I'm just not a fan of him. I don't like the guy. And, of course, they're saving the Igor and Nikki breakdown for part two. There was a little bit of chit-chat this part, but you know how the tell-alls go. They're going to save the most explosive stuff for part two. Honestly, I don't think they covered enough in this uh, one-and-a-half-hour special. I feel like they only couple covered in detail, what, like three couples, if that? So anyway, enough blabbing. Let's go ahead and jump right into this Rob and Sophie segment and see what we think about it. Before we do, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment below as the video goes on, and let's get started. Significant others, we have so much to talk about. I want to kick things off with Rob and Sophie. Rob and Sophie fought about a lot of things, but their love was resilient, and when we last saw them, they were united as husband and wife. Sophie's got the new look. What do you guys think? Kind of like the blonde better, to be honest. I mean, she looks great as a brunette as well, but it throws me off. I think it's her tan, maybe. The tan looks better with the blonde hair, if that makes sense. How is married life treating you? We actually moved right after we got married to Austin, so we kind of started a new life together. I'm living in Austin, Texas. Yeah. It's a nice town. Yeah, How do nice. you like it? I like, I like it. And what inspired the move? Uh, well, we just wanted to move out of his house, basically. And I feel like, you know, LA is expensive, and I think Austin, we could get like a nicer place. It made sense. Is there a bathroom inside? Yes, there is a bathroom. Okay. Well, thank God for that, because apparently Sophie can't take that for granted if she's with Rob. You never know. You never know. There might be an outhouse involved. Everybody's happy about that. Okay, happy about that bathroom inside. That makes a lot of difference. I can pee in my own home. It's great. Aww. Would not having a bathroom be a deal breaker for anybody? Should be, if you have any self-respect. I mean, it'd be pretty rough. It would be very hard, especially for a woman. It's like, like a hostel. Is, yeah. It would cause problems. Love can conquer all when it comes to the bathroom. Look at this positive. You can take your <laughs> and go away from the house. <laughs> you understand that idea? <laughs> Igor is always trying to be hilarious, but honestly, I used to find the guy funny, but he's just such a piece of so I just, I, I see his personality now. Always trying to be the funny guy, all perpetually confused about everything. Worst partner, 
okay? I, I don't think the guy is a great partner to anybody, even if someone is trans or not. I just don't think he's going to be a good partner. Hurt me again, bro. I've been trying to be perfect, but I'm not perfect, man. But you in my life. I don't want no body else. I don't care what you keep saying. It doesn't mean anything to me. It's a liar. Yeah, I mean, we covered this so, so much. <laughs> it's emotional cheating, right? As I've gotten to know Rob more, uh, I, I honestly couldn't tell you if he planned on actually meeting up with this individual or not. But it is very sketchy. It is very sketchy. If you're talking with someone online and you're trading nude photos and videos and things like that, that's extremely hurtful to your partner. He should know that. And uh, it's just not the right thing to do if you're in a committed relationship, regardless of if your partner lives with you or they live a thousand miles away. If you're in a committed relationship, then just be faithful to your partner. That's all I'm saying. I'm not going to say the guy did or didn't cheat, but he did physically, but he definitely did cheat emotionally. I was, I was never looking for anyone else and never had any emotional or intent for anything physical or anything like that. You didn't send any videos or anything out? No, I didn't send anything. Did you respond to the people sending you videos? That's what, yeah. That's why I'm absolutely what wrong. What kind of response it was um, if you don't mind? The worst thing that I responded was, send more. No, oh. that's not true. Don't downplay. He didn't just say, send me more. He'd be like, you look so sexy, I'm so hard for you, whatever the And then they would send it, and then they would get more. Did you ever meet with any of these people? No. Like, I literally don't even remember a name of any of these people. Like, in my mind at the time, I'm like, I'm not doing anything. I'm sitting at home. Like, I haven't seen her in, like, a couple months. Like, I, it, you know, I could be worse. I understand his position. Of course you do. Um, he received the videos from random people, yes, when Sophie was not uh, near him. So that makes it okay. It's okay to cheat when your partner's not around. They're not, it's, I mean, it would be wrong if they were in the room with you, but they're not there, so you can just cheat and lie to them, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. What is with this guy? Igor is a psychopath. A sociopath. <laughs> yeah, not when not, not when she was in America. No, this was before. But you still had a good relationship at the time yeah, you guys were together. together. Yeah, yeah. Girls, what do you think we can do home when you there? The best yeah, what yeah, we as can long do. As you're honest. It's masturbating. Yeah, but as, it's the best. Yes, but as it's long not as, cheating. as long as you're honest. Honest. As long you're honest. Cheating. Listen, listen, please. Okay, now masturbating's not cheating. I hope Sophie wasn't saying that. It's like virtual game. He's not cheating. He's don't see anybody. This is like virtual game with the glasses. You know, VR glasses. You telling other women, oh, I want to you. You look so sexy. That's cheating. I never told anybody I want to uh, Not that statement, that. but I'm trying to tell him. Like, Can you be clear? Sophie, what makes you so sure he's not going to do it again? She ought to be sure. She's looked Can I ask through my whole Can phone. I answer the question? Um, I feel like because, like, I, I now check everything. Like, before, yeah. when he came here, like, I, I think people should have privacy, and I didn't check stuff. Right. But now I just feel like I don't think he would do that to me again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you shouldn't be at the point where you have to go through your partner's phone. If your partner is giving you a reason that you think you should go through their phone, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be with them. That, that's not that's not good that, that's not healthy all right well sophie's mom claire has never been one of rob's biggest fans but when here we go the two of them came together no one expected just how big the explosion would be i think you could have done more you, you you two are in this situation because you didn't put enough effort in saving up for it all right guys hate to say it but we're gonna have to continue this on the next video we are at time the average view duration of my videos is about eight minutes, so I'm just going to go with the flow. That's what you guys like. That's what we're going to do for a while. We're going to test out shorter formats. Make sure to like the video, comment below, subscribe to the channel. If you really love me, become a member. Stick around with me because I'm about to be recording the next episode of TLC Trash Fire, which is going to be the Claire and Rob segment. We are going to dig all the way through it, guys. So stick with me, and I will be right back with a new video. See you then. Bye-bye.